Today's topic is neoplasm. A neoplasm is an abnormal and excessive growth of cells. This abnormal growth often forms a mass. This mass is called a tumor. This tumor growth may be benign or malignant. Benign tumors usually grow slowly and do not transfer to cancer. They also do not have the capacity to spread to other tissues and are not life-threatening. Benign tumors include uterine fibrosis, skin moles, lipomas. Potentially malignant neoplasm are masses that are not yet cancerous but have the potential to do so if left untreated. Malignant neoplasm grows slowly or fast and is usually cancerous. Malignant neoplasm is mostly called cancer, and they carry the risk of spreading and destroying multiple tissues and organs. Malignant neoplasm may be fatal if left untreated. A neoplasm can arise in different bodily structures, including the breast, skin, lymph node, gastrointestinal tract, and others. Causes A neoplasm occurs when a genetic mutation, or DNA mutations, causes an abnormal proliferation of cells in a manner that is not coordinated with the surrounding tissues. These cells do not die when they should, and so they cannot be controlled in a way that normal cells can. As a result, a lump or tumor is eventually formed in the body. There are some factors that contribute to the growth of benign or malignant growth of a tumor. Some common factors include hormones, smoking, drinking, age, genetics, immune disorder, obesity, overexposure to radiation, environmental toxins, overexposure to the sun, viruses, stress, diet, trauma, or injury. Symptoms Symptoms mostly depend on where the neoplasm is located. However, there exist some common symptoms that include shortness of breath, diarrhea, fever, anemia, loss of appetite, cold, bloody stools, lesions, abdominal pain, fatigue. In some cases, neoplasm may come with no symptoms. Diagnosis and Treatment Diagnosis To carry out a proper diagnosis, it is of great importance to first determine if the neoplasms are benign or malignant. Your doctor may need to review your medical history as well as conduct a thorough examination of your blood and possibly a biopsy on visible masses. Other tests used in diagnosis include CT scans, PET scans, MRI scans, ultrasounds, x-rays, or endoscopy. Treatment If diagnosis confirms the presence of a benign neoplasm, your doctor may want to monitor your symptoms to detect any unusual activity. Surgery may be required if your benign growth presses on vital structures, such as glands or nerves. This surgery is carried out to remove the tumor without damaging any tissue. If the diagnosis confirms a malignant neoplasm or cancer, your doctor will tell you about treatment options. Treatment options depend on the stage of cancer and may include radiation, chemotherapy, and surgery. Chemotherapy drugs may be used to shrink the size of tumors before surgery or after surgery to kill any cancer cell that may have metastasized to other parts of the body. Radiation is also given to shrink the size of tumors before surgery or after surgery to kill any cancer cell that may have metastasized to other parts of the body. Surgery may involve removing a small tumor or removing a tumor and some part of the surrounding tissues. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.